Alright, today I'm going to be trying a Seeking a Third uh, video using the combination with the Fragment of Anger with the Leviathan Hatchling. Leviathan Hatchling is not a very strong pet, so it kind of makes it difficult to find a pet that really synergizes well with him. But the Fragment of, the ang uh, of Anger is one of the best just because he has uh, really strong magic damage so I can kind of cover for the Leviathan Hatchling's primary weakness to flyers um, and then that leaves me unfortunately with not too much I can do against undeads or humanoids so I typically picked pets that either really synergized well with the Leviathan Hatchling or had strong undead damage so I have three teams here looks like we're going up against a pretty new player here so that speed is still only 285 with a green version. Um, I'm going to probably anticipate an opener with the dragon. So I'm just going to start with my fragment of anger. Just to throw out a spirit fire beam. Oh nice, he threw out a rake. But unfortunately rake is kind of bugged so it only affects my first spirit fire beam. Now, I'm going to throw out a Soul Rush because I might stun him. He didn't. And he's running Claw, so I'm actually fine to bring in my... Um, to bring in my Leviathan Hatchling against him. So, that I shall. I'm assuming he has Flame Breath since he hasn't used either of his dots yet. Huh, he passed. It's possible he DC'd. Nope. He just passed. Um, yeah, Primal Cry is also bugged where the rake only affects the first hit. Now I'm faster than him. I'll go ahead and throw up a poison. See if he dots me. There's a dot. I figured he was running that since he was um, not using it against the fragment of anger but my aquatic also takes weak damage from dots so I don't particularly care oh yeah he's gonna swap to the back line with a poison and against a team that has two AoE so definitely a newer pet battler but that's okay alrighty I'm gonna throw up a primal cry and he got me. I should have thrown it up earlier. I was expecting him to bubble on the first turn. Um, I'll bring in the Young Venom Fang. I have a very strong matchup against the Aquatic here with my flying damage. Oh, he has Pump. Okay, got you. Well, I'm glad I have this. Disco Doggy likes to run Toxic Skin, and Toxic Skin could be cool, except that it's total, um, it's total garbage. That's, that's pretty much all it comes down to, is it's just straight terrible. Um, okay, no, I'll be serious. The reason it's terrible is it's just percentage-based, so you don't get any benefit against elementals. If it actually did extra... Because it's, it's supposed to be an aquatic ability, but it doesn't actually do aquatic damage. It just does a straight, I think, 6% or something. Uh, reflect damage every time they attack. Let me let me look at the tooltip real quick. Five percent. Yeah, it just does a straight five percent. So even though it's supposed to be uh, an aquatic ability, it doesn't actually hurt tarot claws any more than you know if it was if it was any other kind of damage. So that's the real problem I have with toxic skin. Also, if you run Toxic Skin, you have no flying abilities on your flyer, so you're really, really quite terrible against Aquatics. So there's a win. Um, I'll go ahead and play with this, uh, this team, PX41, named after the Twilight Fiendling. If you all get the reference, you're probably under 10 years old. It's, it's the name of the serum for uh, Despicable Me Too.
but this is a pretty fun team using Twilight Fiendling and the Leviathan Hatchling. Two pets that you're really not going to see much in the meta, but the Twilight Fiendling is really nice to use um, during the Sign of the Critter event because he has strong undead damage. And so if you're running into all the idols or in my meta, here are the two pets I see so much during the Sign of the Critter event. I see a bazillion idols, as you've already heard from Disco Doggy, because we are actually on the same meta. We occasionally play each other, and he usually beats me. <laughs> and I see so, especially during the Critter event, so many Kunlai runs. Just a ridiculous amount of Kunlai runs. And so, if I don't have undead damage, it's a pretty, it's a pretty tough time for me usually. Um... This team doesn't have undead damage, but it's probably my strongest team with the Leviathan Hatchling up to date. Just because the Shimmery Aquafly is very strong. And Fragment of Anger is a tier 1 pet. So. There's probably a case to be made for the Shimmering Aquafly being tier 1. You just don't see it very much because the Tarot Claw is better. But 1v1, the Aquafly will take out a Terra Claw. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I would say it's tier 1. Um, maybe if it had a better breed, like a power power or a speed speed breed. If it had a speed speed breed, it'd probably be tier 1. I still think it's just tier 2. It's very susceptible to, uh, to dragons. If you run into a dragon with it, you're in trouble. Uh, if you, It's susceptible to dots as well, and that's what the Tarot Claw has really going for it. To really push it actually past tier uh, 1 to tier 0 and just make it ridiculously overpowered. Um, is if you throw a dot on it, no problem. It just throws a uh, nature's ward and heals up all that dot damage on the back line if it wants, or it's safe. Alrighty, so this is a really, really fun looking team. Um, trashy. Huh, first time I've ever seen him. I'm assuming Fain Death. Probably Powerball and Poison Fang. Let's see. I, I imagine he's going to open with what with the trashy here. So I am going to open with the Leviathan Hatchling. Okay, he opened with the with the with the Zeppelin. I'm going to go ahead and throw up a poison spit in case he uh, doesn't decoy. He did. So now I'm just going to primal cry to break that decoy and slow his backline pets. And what will be fantastic is if he allows me to get this poison on his zeppelin because it does elemental damage. Now here's something I don't remember is if this counts as a dot or not. I think it does not. I think it does a full 293 to my aquatic. But if your sticky grenade is a dot, this is just an area of effect spell. So don't think I can take advantage of that. I have such a good matchup with my Fragment of Anger here. I think I will go ahead and bring it in just to get that strong damage out into the Zeppelin. Nice. Oh, that crit was beautiful. So I'll go ahead and throw out a Spirit Fire Beam just to do some AoE damage and activate his Racial. And he ought to die to a seethe. Okay. Now, depending on what he brings in, I might swap out. Oh. Oh. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Soul Rush. There's a very high chance. Okay, cool. So here's kind of a... Wait. No, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna be using the, the bug. But... Do I want to save this guy for later? 
He's not that fast. I think I'm just going to go ahead and sacrifice my undead here. <laughs> that hit hard. That's actually a really low end hit, and it still hits hard. Alrighty. Um, now I'm just going to throw up a spirit fire beam. Huh, he's locking himself into Stampede. Uh, I feel like what I want to do is hit him with a tail slap just to see how high it hits. Oh, that was ridiculously low, so I'm glad I did that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit him with another one and then finish him off with a Primal Cry. Oh, crap. Of course now it hits high. I did not want to do that at all. Oh, and now I have shattered defenses up. Uh, oh, I did not. What I, that was exactly what I didn't want to have happen. I purposely used Tail Slap at first because I wanted to put him within range of Primal Cry. Uh, I'm going to die to a Quills if it's uh, anything. Oh, well, I don't care. I'll just throw up a Primal Cry. He's going to kill me. Um, I think the Twilight Fiendling can take out the Enchanted Pin, no problem. Gonna throw up a leap. He's probably gonna dodge here. Oh, very cool. He's using Nevermore. Well, that's going to mess me up. Now the question is, do I go for a... a Siphon Life? I guess so. Yeah, because I was figuring he might dodge there. So at least I can do dot damage while he's... Um, that took me by surprise. I think I still have him. Um, but that made it a lot closer. Uh, the reason I was anticipating never uh, the other one is because I anticipated... he. Oh, duh, he didn't have Poison Fang. Even with Stampede, uh, Foreboding Curse is still pretty good. But he definitely caught me by surprise. It's a, it's a good thing I... I mean, I wasn't going to go for my basic attack, but it's definitely a good thing I didn't do it. Because <laughs> then I would have no basic attack for five rounds. I've actually never seen Nevermore used... So I'm glad to find out that that's how it works, is you you are able to use that turn, but then that turn has a five... Uh, so you are, you are able to use your move. It doesn't, like, stop your move or anything. But you're able to use that move, and then it goes on cooldown for five rounds. So that's pretty cool. Alrighty, so we have a two-tier one pet with a very strong tier two pet team. Um... I'm certain he'll bring in the Unborn Valk first, so I'm probably going to bring in the Aquafly, try to dodge a Curse of Doom, and then get off a cheap hit before bringing in my... Oh, he's playing smart. He's playing smart. Alrighty. Well... I'm going to bring in a Leviathan Hatchling. He's going to soak that Curse of Doom. Oh, he's just going for damage. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to go for a Primal Cry here. Slow down his enemy, the enemy team and throw out some AoE. Now I'll throw out a Poison Spit. Get a Dot Rolling. This is probably my best matchup with the Leviathan Hatchling is against the Undead. And he's just going for damage. Um... Should be able to kill him in two tail slaps, unless he, like, crits me again, and I hit super low. That was a nice crit. That was a way nicer crit than his crit. Because now he's dead and I'm not. Um, now what do I want to do? I kind of want to bring in the Aquafly, because I don't anticipate he'll, he'll use Curse of Doom. Yeah, I figured he would do that. And now I can dodge, or maybe... He might decoy. I'm just going to go for some damage here. Because I'm figuring he'll either Thunderbolt or decoy right off the bat. 
going to go ahead and heal here. It's going to heal my aquatic a little bit. Then I'm just going to go for a dodge, get that cheap hit off into the decoy. And then I'll probably swap into the Fragment of Anger to break that decoy with a Spirit Fire Beam. And also to take weak damage from the Breath. Oh, crits. Crit city today. I'm going to go ahead and break that decoy, do a tiny bit of damage to his uh, backline pet. Um, I'm just going to go for Seath for the strong damage. There's another Thunderbolt. Uh, I really hope I can activate his racial here. If I can't, I'm just going to go for a Soul Rush to, fin to, to activate the racial to try to stun him. Alrighty, now, if this doesn't hit all that high, it totally did. Um, that hit really high. Um, at least now I've gone, I, I've uh, lit, survived to the Unholy Ascension, so now it's basically just a 3v1. Um, do I want to go for the possible stun or the damage? I'm going to go for the damage. That damage was definitely worth it. Alrighty, so that guy's super slow, but I am he's still I'm, my Leviathan hatchling is the same speed, so don't really want to risk anything. I'm just gonna bring in the shimmering aquafly. Do I activate his racial? I don't, so I'm just gonna dodge here in case he goes for a touch of the air section anima. Oh, thank goodness he has interrupting jolt. I was afraid he might try to predict my dodge and use it extra plating but at this point it's pretty GG I'm faster than him even without my racial so he's gonna heal here but then he's just two hits away from death um, my opponent played pretty well I uh, just had a um, try to think if he made any mistakes oh he probably should, no he didn't play that well and here's the mistake he made is he kept in his mechanical panda and dragonling against the fragment of anger should have swapped for sure well not really even he just has a bad matchup because he had two two mechanicals um oh he shouldn't have stayed in on his valk against my aquatic that's another thing he did um but i still did have a pretty good matchup against his team let me see. I'll just see if I can get... F oh. I've just realized I don't have the quest. Oops. <laughs> well, <laughs> at least those were fun battles. I'll probably go pick up that quest and go for a five wins or bust later on. But, uh, yeah. There's uh, some fun Leviathan hatchling teams. I'll go ahead and put them in my fun teams. Wait. Move to f fun teams? There we go. That was weird. That was a weird glitch. Um, and the reason they're not going in no tier 1 is obviously they have the Fragment of Anger, he's tier 1. But they're still fun teams that don't obviously make it into the tier 1 list. This list is reserved for the true, truly scummy, obnoxiously overpowered teams. Wait a minute, did I, did I end up saving that team? There's an anti-darkness team super strong I don't think I saved it it's really good um it's all tier one pets it's what I use to counter Nathan's triple on triple darkness team um well I'll create it wicked soul typically you start with that throw a haunt into whatever uh, pet they open with if it's a if it's a Bone Serpent, it's perfect because you can dodge whatever they throw out first and get that dot rolling. Alpine Foxling to take out Bone Serpents. And then Bone Serpent just to, let me see, save as anti Darkness. There are very few darkness teams I can think of that would have any chance against this team. Maybe a triple crow. That's about it. Because you're able to outspeed them and just 
you have a good matchup in, as far as damage types and um, you have two undeads to, to, to really fall back on in case you're running into a bunch of nocturnal strikes and you don't the, the undead racial is probably the best way to deal with nocturnal strikes is okay you might die but you still get two hits off even if you're slower so yeah that's my that's my anti-darkness team um, maybe if I run into another how do you call it another string of rich girls with the uh, bone serpent nightshade sproutling frost for rat uh, wait no it wasn't the nightshade sproutling it was uh not frost for rat i mean it was the nightshade sproutling uh it was the the toucan the the blood beak or or jungle beak jungle beak instead of the frost for rat if i run into one of those teams this will counter that pretty stinking well um yeah i mean i might lose but i'm gonna counter it pretty well also if i run into specifically rich girls i would probably swap the bone serpent for a spirit crab and that gives me the advantage versus the nightshade sproutling also, Spirit Crabbers with the Alpine Foxling is pretty strong. Do I have any Tier 1 teams with... Oh, I have, of course, Anti-Clone Dance. This team, I don't think I have yet. Well, I'm going to put this in my Tier 1 slot. It's going to be another Anti-Darkness team. That doesn't actually use Darkness itself, so... It's a little bit... A little bit nicer of a counter in my opinion if you don't have to use the same pet that you're countering against um yeah this is a really good team actually i'm surprised i haven't put this one together or i haven't saved it because you're able to amplify magic your haunt you're able to throw up a rot then flurry does extra damage you have that priority move in case you're somehow not faster with that dazzling dance on this 337 and 325 speed pet yeah, um, I'm gonna have to give that a shot against Nathan's uh, Dread Hatchling, Frost for Rat, Bone Serpent team. Um, against the Frost for Rat, this would probably be better too than the Bone Serpent. They're both pretty good. suffers against a crow but not really that much because you just have those two undeads to really fall back on and just kind of tank damage while you can really put out a lot of damage throwing out a haunt if your haunt misses you lose <laughs> that's a, that's kind of the sad situation but i mean we're talking about a 10 percent chance for you to lose it for you to miss your haunt at the very beginning of the match if that happens um you know what you're gonna do about it try again <laughs> rematch uh you can't really control 10 percent because it is you can you have 100 percent uptime on darkness if you want so you kind of just have to pray to r and jesus yeah this is a really strong team um i gotta come with a better with another name than anti-darkness i suppose anti-rich girls because that's what this team is designed to do and there have been a couple of those floating around in my meta during the pet week so maybe we'll see this team put to use <laughs> 